Okay, GD224, logo symbol icon. How you guys doing? Welcome to Module 8. Okay, so where are we? Let's go ahead and take a look at Module 7. See what we had. We had this mo uh, module lecture of methodology and process, and I think that was a really, really unique and, and very powerful set of uh, lectures for you guys. And I, I think this is really kind of this turning point of the class where we start to think about more advanced ideas in terms of methodology and and um, uh, concept development. So I, I thought it would be interesting to share these, these uh, resources regarding process development, brand identity, concept development, methodology, et cetera. And there's some really, really interesting things here, especially these two. Um, well, this is actually a great video, how to design a modern logo. Great, great video, <laughs> guys. There's another one at the end of this lecture, but right now we're looking at this, this written lecture, how to build brand identity step by step. And then we've got these these two videos are fantastic. I'm sorry, three videos that are really fantastic. Then we have over here, um, moving more towards the end of module seven, we're looking at the assignment. And that's logo concept development. Now, now granted, uh, the sports team logo final mock-up is due um, at the end on Sunday of, of module seven. So we'll be looking at that during week eight right during module eight and then during module eight we're also introducing the original logo concept development um stage so we will look at that was introduced uh at the end of module seven so that's due that concept development is due um, at the end of module eight so go ahead and make sure you read through that and then we'll take a look at the progression of this assignment as we look at module eight however the nothing new here guys it's analysis comparative and concept development for uh the the logo fortune 500 assignment so be sure to take a look at that look at the associated rubric if you have any questions on that please let me know most of you have been doing a really good job in the concept development stage of the assignment i think there have been a few uh, instances where we had to kind of take a look at the intent of concept development stage as as opposed uh, or in comparison uh, and contrasting to the um, digital mock-up stage. So a little bit of, of uh, trying to provide a little more clarity this week on the difference between the concept development stage and the um, uh, digital uh, mock-up stage. Um, Okay, so, so, um, yeah, all right, so anyways, that is that. Let's look at the schedule right here. Let me just move that down a little bit so we can fit it in the window. Sorry about this. Here we go. We've got, right now, we are in, there we go. We are in week eight, right? So our classroom discussion this week is where do ideas come from? And it's a great one. Last week, week seven, we talked about methodology and process. Uh, lectures were developing brand identity. Assignment was co uh, uh, concept development for the original logo design. Um, and now in week eight, we're going to be talking about where do ideas come from, which is a really, really a, a logical uh, progression from methodology and process to, to kind of dissecting where ideas come from. Idea generation and creativity is the lecture associated with this week. And then, of course, um, uh, the assignment is the original rough, which is due here, as we see at the end of week nine. So that said, let's jump over to week eight, see what's going on. Week eight agenda. And again, I just want to reduce that to get it in the window. Um, nothing new here, guys. Just going through a module introduction. Uh, where do ideas come from? These are these are really, really, this is a great quote, by the way. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Um, that's a Henry Ford quote. Very, very famous quote. And these are some a couple of really fantastic resources on idea generation. Um, then we've got some firsthand kind of questions and, and answers and kind of um, uh, development of how graphic designers um how do graphic designers or how graphic design creatives and then we have this series of questions that's being answered keep relevant think about target audience decide what the purpose is etc and so on and so forth so this is fantastic then we follow that up with eight things that'll boost every graphic designer's creativity so again as you can see this is all about creativity the last one here is, is the sketchbook and i i left this here guys because i think it's relevant as a graphic designer i've been a graphic design professional for over well, pushing 25 years. And honestly, this is a conservative uh, um, 
figure right there, 25 years. It's, it's more like 30, 30 years or so. Um, I don't leave the house without my sketchbook. My wife, it drives her crazy. I mean, when we're getting ready to go, like Saturday afternoon, we're going to the zoo or something. I, we're driving. I got to stop. And this just happened. I was up at the corner. And uh, I had to turn around, come show. She goes, what? She, she looks at me. She goes, what happened? I go, I forgot something. She goes, oh, your sketchbook. Well, my sketchbook and my camera. And I always take my sketchbook and my camera with me everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. Quite often, it's it's my cell phone. But I, I, I do pack up my, my camera bag and take it with me. Uh, nine out of ten times I leave the house, I've got camera and sketchbook with me. So really important. And I'm not any different than any other graphic designers. I mean, most of us do. You never know when that idea is going to hit you. And when it does, you got to be prepared. So I, another interesting thing is, guys, folks, is I also, I keep a um, dictation recorder and also a sketchbook right next to my bedside side stand um, next to my bed. I cannot tell you how many times, oh, well over a hundred times in the last year alone, have I woken up in the middle of the night and and I've got this idea for a, a solution for a project I'm working on. Ideas hit me at, in my sleep all the time. And what I used to do is I used to think, I used to wake up and go, oh my God, I got this great idea to, for this project, but I wouldn't write it down. I would just say, I'm going to remember it. I wake up in the morning going, what the heck was that idea? So finally, many, many, many years ago, I just got on this habit of keeping a, a digital recorder, and well, which you all have on your phone, and a sketchbook next to my, my, my bed. I wake up at night, I just turn the light on real quick, I'll jot down a couple ideas, a couple of quick drawings, takes two minutes, put it away, I'm back asleep in two minutes. Um, the next morning I wake up and I'm like, there's this idea. I can't wait to go and implement it. And they usually work. It's amazing the ideas that come to us when we're sleeping. It's just a matter of uh, uh, understanding how we can record those ideas immediately as they come without waiting so that we can uh, refer to those ideas moving forward. So just an another little kind of personal note on this, this kind of uh, uh, concept development, creativity, establishment of creativity, methodology. Um, etc. Okay, now exploring on your own. There's a, a there's more really great resources here, guys. In a way, I think this is one of the better modules in the class because of that. It's really fun to understand and look at how other designers approach methodology. So and and how they the idea the, the idea generation process goes and etc. etc. Et so good stuff here. Of course, we have our discussion board. Um. We've got a discussion board, guys, this week. We've got a, uh, not only do we have an attendance discussion board, here's your att attendance discussion board. We also have a, a, a discussion board associated with points. So what you're going to do here is, this is the team critique symbol assignment. So you're going to post your team symbol here. Attach your final design work for the team symbol assignment. Your final design should be a professionally printed, mounted 6x6 six six black foam core presentation board. Nothing new here. And photograph. Final presentation should be a multi-page PDF with the final digital symbol shown on page one. The digital Photoshop mock-up on, on page two. And on page three, the photographs of the symbol and mounted digital mock-ups. Okay, remember craft count. So nothing new here, right? Following the same uh, kind of formulation that we did in uh, the first project. So if you have any questions on that, get with me before you submit. But um, um, And then, so this is the discussion board here. So what you're going to do is you're going to post your work by Wednesday of week eight. All right. This is the, the, the work that you have already submitted on the Sunday of week seven. So it should be complete. You're going to post it upon, by Wednesday of week eight and then respond to at least two of your classmates. All right. Um, that's about it. Okay, this is the last um, video that I promised. This is a, a, a great one. Aaron Draplin, for those of you who know he is, you're probably licking your chops right now going, I can't wait to watch this video. Those of you who don't know who Aaron Draplin is, he is one of the premier uh, contemporary designers today and very, very, very unique and, and just a, a crystal clear uh, uh, method of communication and this is a treat so please watch this um okay then we have our assignment digital roughs for the uh original logo assignment are due uh at the end of sunday by uh module nine okay so again um use your feedback you know i you, know, you guys know when you 
post into discussion board. I leave pretty robust crit, uh, critical feedback there so that you can apply that to the work moving forward. So, all right, guys, that's all I have. I'm over 10 minutes, didn't want to do that. But questions, comments, concerns, clarifications, any of the above, please let me know and I'll be glad to provide uh, clarity on any of the above. And if there are questions regarding discussion boards or anything else, guys, please let's have them. Um, all right, guys, I will see you guys in, in this week's discussion board. And again, really, really important, guys. Any questions at all, please let me know. All right. Thanks, everyone.